Next Generation is a British Council research program that explores the needs, potential, and aspirations of young people aged 18 to 35 globally. The program is designed to better understand and optimize the conditions under which young people in different countries can thrive and flourish as fulfilled, productive, and active citizens. The first ever Next Generation report to focus on Nigeria was published in 2010, and the program continues to unfold. While joining us now to have a conversation about what's happening this year with the Next Generation Nigeria series is Lucy Pearson, Country Director at British Council Nigeria. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Lucy. Thank you for joining us. Well, as uh, Tundo has pointed out, the Next Generation uh, report by the uh, British Council, which is a researcher uh, program. Now, what, what, what do you seek to achieve with this uh, particular report in terms of the needs, the potentials, and the aspirations of young Nigerians? Well, thank you. As you said in the introduction, the next generation, it's the British Council's research series that we run globally, seeking to explore the needs, potential, and the aspirations and the values of young people aged 18 to 35. And the programme is designed to better understand the conditions that are needed to optimise young people's participation in their countries, in their communities, to be really active citizens. And the first ever Next Generation report um, for Nigeria was published in 2010. So a generation on, uh, a decade on, we wanted to revisit the, the youth condition and see what's driving the young people in Nigeria today as the country's been through a significant change in the last 10 years and also at a pivotal moment perhaps in Nigeria's history with 2020 being the, the anniversary, the 60th anniversary of independence. Of course, during that time, COVID-19 pandemic hit. So we also wanted to capture through some COVID diaries about how the, the pandemic was impacting the lives of young people across Nigeria. So really what the report sought to, to, to uh, elicit from over 6,000 young people across Nigeria was what matters most to them in terms of their values and their aspirations. Um, what, what voice do Nigerians feel that they have in terms of shaping their country and their communities? Um, and what hopes and visions do they have for their, for their future and for the future of Nigeria? Now, is this report unique to Nigeria or has it been carried out in other countries? Yeah, it's the Global Research Programme which started in 2009. So the first country was Pakistan. Uh, as I said, 2010 uh, was the first research programme in Nigeria, where I should have said the, the phrase, youth not oil is Nigeria's future. Maybe you've heard that. That was coined from the Next Generation report. But in sub-Saharan Africa, we've undertaken a number of studies across the continent uh, in Ethiopia, Tanzania, Kenya, South Africa, uh, and, and Zimbabwe as well. And all those reports are available for, for viewers to, to access and access that data. But really, you know, we want to understand, as I said, the aspirations, the voice, the needs of young people, not just because they're the future leaders, uh, of, of the country, but because now they have a voice, they have agency, and to be able to understand that to help them uh, shape their community and country now, just not in the future. All right, uh, thank you so much, uh, Lucy. Uh, real quickly, I'd like to ask, how can this report be used you know, to fix the, the, the areas you discovered in this report, the problems, the problem areas? How can this report be used to fix those areas? Sorry, can you say that again? I didn't quite catch the question. Yeah, so I said, how can this report be used to fix the problem areas as highlighted in the report? Sure. I mean, when you read the report, it's 100 plus pages, which captures, I think, the complexity, the multifaceted nature of some of the challenges that are facing young people in Nigeria. So the report really uh, seeks to uh, encourage people to find strategic solutions that reflect the breadth, the scale and the magnitude of some of the challenges identified. But I want to stress as well the reports, there's lots of positives in there, so it's not just about the problems, but it really brings out, I think, 
The innovation, the whole, the positivity, the entrepreneurial spirit of young people in Nigeria. But really, if we understand what the values are and what the conditions are to, to drive and thrive in Nigeria, um, then that can really help shape engagement with the youth community, but also shape uh, policy uh, for, for the government, for organisations working in Nigeria, and at state and federal level and at the community level as well. So to really shape that engagement and the policy to include youth and what matters to them as we shape the country's future. Okay, I mean, um, the next question is related to the last one. Uh, what are your key findings uh, in those areas of potentials, needs and aspirations in relation to uh, young Nigerians? If you sure. could give us a, a summary. Yeah, sure. So uh, we've talked about voice. I think one of the, the key findings that was the majority of young people don't actually feel that their voice is heard, certainly in relation to perhaps institutions in Nigeria. So compared to more dominant groups such as politicians, uh, celebrities, human rights leaders, and even um, as well as more sort of violent and insurgent groups in Nigeria. On the other hand, they do feel that they have a voice, an agency, uh, with groups that are perhaps closer to home, um, in, with their religious organisations, with their families, with their friends, and also through traditional media and social media, they do feel they have a voice and a voice that's listened to. Um, also, there's some interesting findings in terms of the young people's uh, engagement with politics in the country, which I think can help shape how we uh, engage further and bring young people into politics. And some really interesting demographics and stats around um, young people's engagement, apathy and activism in terms of political engagement. But I think some of the key findings that were really interesting, I mean, I mentioned it before, and what really stood out to me was about the positivity, the aspirations of the, the young people in Nigeria. And the things that really came through strongly was their hopefulness, their positivity, their aspirations, their independence. It came through really strongly that they're, they're self-driven. They want to help themselves. They don't expect it to be handed to them on a plate but also their drive for innovation. Well, that's good to hear. Can you give us more of like the typical traits? How would you describe a typical Nigerian youth? Well, I think, well, again, some interesting stats that came out, I think. Um, over 98% of young Nigerians rank their family as important. So maybe that's not a surprise to, to many Nigerians. But to have the data from 6,000 young people across the country to back that up, and 93% or over 93% rated religion as very important to them. But interesting also to perhaps note that religion didn't necessarily mean attending a, a mosque or a church and practicing, but also religion meant about being good, doing good to the community and with the people that they work with. Surprisingly, I think, only 39% of young Nigerians thought a priority in the next five years should be prioritising um, economic growth, which um, I think given the situation in Nigeria and, and employment and underemployment, I would have expected that statistic to be higher. But the big thing Nigerians were looking for in terms of what, what they need to thrive and survive is security. So 59% of young people felt that they needed security in its most basic level, safety, a roof over their heads, food to eat, as well as health care in order to be able to survive and thrive in Nigeria and have a successful future. So the report's really rich with data and I hope, as it will do for the British Council, I hope it will shape engagement, policy making and a brighter future for Nigeria's young people. I mean, still tell me more. I, I, I'm really amazed by some of the interesting facts yeah, you're bringing up from this report. Uh, I want to hear more. You want to hear more? <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. OK, so I think, I think as well in terms of the important values that Nigerians identified, I've mentioned 59% top of the list with security. 
Again, I think back to the positivity that came through in the report. 55% of young Nigerians uh, feel that benevolence is an important value. So really giving back and contributing to their communities and beyond. Self-direction, 56%. So again, they're not handing it to them on a plate. They want to do good. They want to drive themselves to do good. They want to access information, education and skills to, to develop their own futures. Um, and uh, perhaps lower down, hedonism. 45% 45 said it was important, but perhaps not as important as, as religion, family, benevolence. So I think it gives a, perhaps a different perspective of youth than maybe is portrayed elsewhere, which I think is really encouraging. OK, quickly, I mean, just to put a face to this uh, Next Generation report, uh, who and who was involved in the process, particularly from the Nigerian end. Yeah. Well, this was something just done by an outside team of uh, experts. So we had, um, we had a, an experienced uh, research company that led the research working with local partners in Nigeria. And as I said, we surveyed over 6,000 young people, both qualitative and quantitative research, by which I meant there was broad research with key questions asked to 6,000 young people, but we also led focus groups to delve deeper into these questions around values and what's important and the conditions needed to, to thrive. We also focused on a few minority groups, so people living with disabilities, for example, uh, to see how, um, what their perspectives, hopes and aspirations were as well. And guiding the research, um, Obviously, the British Council was involved, but we felt it was important to have other key players in Nigeria steering the research uh, in terms of where we focus, what was important, and also when it comes to launching the research, the channels and the mechanisms we could do to do that. So we had a task force of 18 people made up of experts, young people, innovators, entrepreneurs, representatives from federal and state government, helping to drive the research program, which started in September 2019, and we launched it at the, at the end of, of last year. And that task force was really pivotal in terms of bringing diverse and different perspectives to drive the research. So it's really meaningful and useful. And really, we don't want it just to be a piece of research that British Council's done and it sits on the shelf for the next 10 years till we run it again in 2030. Which leads me to the next question. How can the report be assessed, and is there a summary available anywhere that people can read? So the full report is available on the British Council Nigeria website. That's www.britishcouncil.org.ng. And the full report's there, as well as an executive summary at the beginning, if you aren't able to wade through the rich data in the 100 plus pages. All right, uh, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you for your time, Lucy, and congrats you know, on the things you can do with this report and the furtherance you know, of more research as regards young people in the country and how we can help them on various skills needed and tools needed uh, you know, to be able to power their future. But thank you so much for your time. Thank Very you. Very rich report. But before I quickly go, uh, we go quickly, I want to just know the sample size surveyed. Sample size. So, so over, over 6,000 from over 6, 000, okay. all the states, including federal capital territory, with the exception of a couple of states in the, in the northeast, which we weren't able to get to because of security. So a real broad and deep uh, coverage of, of the country, which I think really adds to the integrity of the data in the report. All right, okay. thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Lucy Person. Thank, thank you. you for joining us on The Morning Show.